Okay, this is going to be another video on the Pika New Free Link, and specifically getting 120 hertz from the actual headset. So, right now, the only way you can actually ever see a display refresh rate, the DRR in your Pico metrics, the only way you can see that change of 120 is actually in Streaming Assistant, and you have to force that on the, the PC driver side to actually make that change. Um, it's not particularly stable on, on Streaming Assistant because it's definitely not made for that. Um, and it definitely doesn't have the option in the, the GUI sort of GUI that you've got. Um, so 120 hertz has not really been seen in the Pika New Freelink. Um, but it turns out it's incredibly simple for developers to add support for 120. Um, you basically have one command for OpenXR. It's the same command basically Oculus use to change your actual screen refresh rate. So right now, Pico Home Environment is only ever at 72 regardless if you have 90 hertz or 120 hertz mode um, 90 hertz is not present in new for link it just goes straight to 120 but again that makes no difference um, the only ever changes games to 90 hertz so right now this is display refresh rate 72 um, Lubos has actually made a new update for Quake 3 which is Quake 3 Neo Neo 3 120 hertz so that's quite literally just adding that one command. I don't believe he's done any other tuning for 120 hertz. Um, and I'm going to fire it up into Quake 3 VR. I don't believe the menu's going to record in here, but you should be able to see the, the overlay still. Um, I will explain the settings. I, yeah, I know you guys are going to be blind here. Um, if I go into Setup and go down to System, I've already changed the refresh rate to 120, but you can see I can change this back and it'll go back to 72. So by default, this was at 72, it's the recommended for this game. The super sampling is at 1.5 when you're at 72 hertz. Um, of course, you can change the refresh rate now to 90 and 120, and it actually changes the display panel uh, unlike before. It changes the display panel very easily. So to get running at 120, it does say it's experimental in the in the brackets next to this refresh rate option. The super sampling, I'm at one, uh, 0 0.75, so I'm actually going under and sub-sampling here. Um, I've not really changed any other settings. I've still got high quality sky, I've still got the texture detail. I've knocked the, the slider down to about halfway. Geometric detail at high, the lighting is at high. Um, yeah, I've not messed around too much i've basically brought down the resolution and a little bit of the texture detail i have no idea what is actually going to be the most taxing on there i've not experimented too yet but i just wanted to show knocking down the super sampling to 07, uh, 0 0.75 if i get into a game very very quickly um with a load of enemies in the game i'm not going to be able to do this as well so i'll keep you guys waiting in the dark um with a load of enemies in the game uh and obviously it going absolutely nuts on the uh, on the screen with everyone firing at you. It's actually going to be dropping below 120 with with how I have that set up now. So if I'm at um, 0 0.75 with a recording going, that helps. Because obviously I'm freeing up a little bit of the GPU utilization. We're up around 90% 90, 90, uh, utilization here. Um, the CPU and GPU levels. Pico's can go to level five they've now fixed it so that that zero is an auto so it's not gonna it's not gonna sit at level five in your home screen anymore but the zero shows here still um but i can tell you that's practically going to be level five because the gpu frequency is at 587 um which is obviously if you look at the gpu levels in either oculus or pico that changes your gpu frequency and it'd be much the same for the cpu so i'm at 1.8 gigahertz or 1.8 gigahertz or whatever um 1.8 on the CPU frequency and then 587 on the GPU frequency. So with not a lot of enemies and stuff on screen, um, it's fine. It's up near 120 with that little change that I've made to the resolution. Um, I can add every single bot in here and it will stay around 100. Um, but ideally, if you're making use of this 120, you want it to be nice and stable. Um, if you get motion sick, which obviously this game can, uh, can do quite quickly for you, 120 is just awesome. It's super, super smooth. Um, so it's definitely making a difference. But you have got to sacrifice a bit of the uh, the bit of the visuals, and the game does give you those options. But 
Again, it's not made for 120. I don't believe any effort has been put in whatsoever to make this run at 120 stable. It just quite literally gives you the option to do it. So, again, the sky the quality is on high, the lighting is on high, um, texture is on high. So I've not changed as much stuff as well, I probably could to make this better. But, as you can probably see in the overlay, for the most part, this is fine with not much people on. If I add the whole list of bots, um, it's not at stable 120 even though I'm here. It, it goes down to as low as 100 or even 90 depending on if you've got um, everyone firing off the bloody rocket launchers at the same time sort of thing. So it's entirely dependent on what's on your screen. But 120 in a new free link does work. I have no idea why developers just don't add this. I mean, stuff like the table tennis and stuff that's very light to to play especially you can tell here the cpu temperature and gpu temperature cpu is at 65 gpu is at 60 even with the bots completely taken over the screen that's never going above sort of 65 and 70 so it's not thermal throttling um it's never dropping the gpu frequency so it's not scaling back the the cpu and gpu levels um the headset can do it this is absolutely no optimization for 120 hertz mode and it can hold 120 so it can do it um it just needs developers to actually enable that and tune their games to do 120. so i look forward to the day we actually do see that but for now Lubos, again you've done it mate. you've done it again mate so first to port one of these open xr games into uh into near free link and he's first add this 120 hertz mode so this is awesome definitely check it out i'll leave a link in the description to the new apk quite literally you can use uh, pico's feature i've covered a video before showing how to sideload apks without a computer you can do that copy the link send it to your pico download the apk click to install the apk and you're up and running so again thank you very much again the boss this is awesome and uh yeah can't wait to see other games actually implement this and finally make use of the 120 hertz mode that's been dormant for about a year now so brilliant thank you cheers guys thanks for watching